Welcome to the lectures on urban transportation planning. Uh, in this lecture, we will learn about the transportation systems. Modes of transportation or the modes of transport will list out one by one. Uh, first of all, we will write the highways. Then uh, we have uh, the, uh, the maximum time uh, the people, uh, people used to prefer the highway as a mode of transport. It is the easy and easy to access. So the highway and then generally uh, the railways. And then the airways if we come even after the airways then the airways the waterways after waterways the next one is the airway the highway railway airways waterways then we have still uh, the pipeline then we have Some terminal points 
or some place where we can load, we can uh, we can perform the loading and unloading actions. So for that we require the terminal. The third component is nothing but the terminal. As we are having different things, so we require certain things to regulate all these activities. So the fourth component of the mode of transport is the control. So they are the basic thing about the modes of transport, what are different modes of transport, what are the major modes, what are the minor modes and what could be the different components for these modes of transport that is the way as we need to be first of all for that and the vehicle to run over that then the terminal points for the loading and unloading actions and we require something to regulate all these actions in a disciplined way so the fourth component is the control Then we have a typical urban transportation mode. What are the? As we have seen, uh, major mode of transport, minor mode of transport. The typical mode of transport, or typical transportation mode. So we will take it one by one. First of all, we will start the very basic mode of transport is with us that is the foot. Because of the foot, we can move from one place to place. The very, very basic mode of transport, or typical mode of transport, is the foot. Then we have second one after that, in non-motorized. The second non-motorized mode of transport is the bicycle. That is the bicycle. Then we have the third. Motorized, uh, then we will be contacted as ferry as the water is the medium required for this. Then we can take motorized two wheeler. Then we can take the private taxi.
motorized mode of transport. Right. So here is now the mode of transport. As we have seen, these are the non-motorized mode of transport, and these are the typical. As you can start with the ferry, ferry is the only one we have taken for which the water is the medium. But this is also considered the uh, typical mode of transport and the motorized two wheeler. We generally use the word to denote this in short that is MDW. Motorized two wheeler means the bikes, scooty, each and everything, and the private taxi. It can include the motorized three wheeler as well as the motorized four wheeler means the auto rickshaw taxi. The motorized four wheeler can be taxi, then the sheer taxi. So that is the first car, then the rail, light rail as well as the commuter rail means the local train as well as the express. Uh, Mail trains, bus, uh, sorry, bus, that means the local bus as well as the express bus. All these are the currently considered the typical mode of transport. Now we will see the ranking of modes which will have characteristics. We have, as we have seen the different modes of transport. So we will see the ranking uh, which we prefer first based on the different criteria like the user's point of view as well as the planner's point of view.
So, this is also one of the uh, factor for the which is very very important from the user's point of view. As we can see, if we, uh, even though within the if we are taking the most risk two wheeler and within the uh, shared taxi or we take an example of local bus, then it will be more clear. If the time and other parameters are constant or they are they are not influencing the ranking, then the only the cost is the parameter which is affecting then definitely this local bus will be more cheaper as compared to the, the motorized two wheeler or as compared to the two wheeler. So obviously he will prefer, if as far as the cost is concerned, he will prefer the local bus because it is a cheaper mode of transport than this two wheeler or it is known as bike. So this is also the cost of travel also one of the factor which affects the ranking of modes. Right? Then, Criteria for this is the level of comfort. This is also one of the criteria on which the user too much depends the level of comfort. Because if it's traveling for a distance of suppose 100 km, 120 km, he has the option of his personal car, he has the option of his own personal car, or and he has the option of motorized two wheeler suppose if that of the a distance that we need to travel a distance of 120 km then obviously it will be you will get more level of comfort you will get more level of comfort in the personal car as well as the safety will be more as compared to motorized two wheeler uh, we are not talking in terms of the speed uh, because we are not, uh, we, we don't know how much traffic he will get on the road or in that situation. So, irrespective of all those factors, we are talking for these only that is, motorized to be personal car. If we want to travel the 120 km, it will be very difficult to travel on the motorized to be on a bike because it will give him a lot of fatigue as well as the tiredness. He may lose his balance as well as it will not be the safer as compared to the personal car because he will be exposed to this guy and as well as each and everything. While in the car, it will pack. It will be the more safer than the two wheeler than the bike to travel on the highway. And as well as the 120 km is that comparatively easier to travel in the car. So, in terms of the level of comfort or the level of safety, the personal car will be on the top ranking as per the user's point of view. So, the level of comfort is also one of the factor which affects the ranking of modes. If the movie moved further, then the last one is the terminal point, which we have spoken in the previous point indirectly. Is that the terminal point means from where he can start his journey, or from where he will get the vehicles to start his journey? In case of the local bus, the local train. Or the way I will write the word the light train, the personal car, and the we will take the private taxi. And it's suppose terminal point, and each and every will be having a certain defined, predefined. The terminal point, so stop the point like for local bus, there will be definitely certain the terminal point where the bus generally stops. So he has to reach at that place. If this is his house, he has to reach from this place to this place first of all because this is the terminal point where the bus will stop only. The bus will stop and then it will start a journey from this place only. The person has to move to this place. This is the terminal point for the local. But similarly, light train will also have a certain local station. At those local station only, the train will stop where the commuter can get down and they can ride their journey from there. So, again, there will be a certain terminal point for the light train as well as the personal car. The person can nowadays, the person can book the personal car from anywhere and he can get it. So, Again, there will be certain terminal points where there will be a taxi will be standing or they can use to park their car but as a person will book, they will come to the pickup point but in case of a private, sorry, in case of private taxi and personal car, the personal car, the person can start his journey from his 
dollar step only. But in case of private taxi, the private taxi may able to reach or may not be able to reach till the dollar step due to the certain reason like the address is not clear or you are traveling to get it soon. So in case of this, the terminal point, this will be your the first priority on the maximum as you can get easily. Then it will be second. Similarly, depending upon the distance of the terminal point from the uh, user's point of view or from the user's point where he is standing or from the starting point, the terminal point distance uh, according to that, this ranking of these modes will be defined. So the terminal point is also one of the factors which affects the ranking of modes based on the user points of view. So there are the five important factors from the user's point of view. One is the accessibility, then the level of service, then the cost of travel, then the level of comfort and the terminal points. If we stop in terms of the planner's point of view, then there are two important factors which we generally consider in case of the planner's point of view. One is the level of impact on the environment. Important factor affecting the ranking of modes based on the planner's point of view is nothing but the energy consumption. This we can take as one of the examples for the energy consumption, as, uh, that means the level of impact on the environment as the air pollution. In terms of air pollution, we will talk to define the ranking of modes under the planner's point of view. So these are some of the factors as we have listed. Those generally affect the ranking of modes. So we'll start first of all uh, and the directors will start the ranking the modes. We'll take the speed as the common parameter in all the cases and we'll discuss different ones. From there we'll take the cost of travel, we'll take the accessibility as well as we'll see the level of comfort. These three will uh, the study will take the speed as a common factor and then we will discuss or we will try to direct the different modes of transport. So first of all we will see the ranking as based on the accessibility. So what we are saying, we will that we will keep one of the parameters as a common, that will be speed as a common factor and the second factor will take that as a accessibility. Motorized 
three wheeler, then M uh, F W that means motorized four wheeler, and P R and L that means the personal. F S means the shared. So these are some of the abbreviation we use. We we'll start in terms of the accessibility. So we we'll talk if we take the accessibility, then. We have already listed the typical modes of the transport. We have started, we have started from the foot and uh, and the bicycle. These were the two non-motorized mode of transport. And if we see the accessibility of the foot will be the main compared to a bicycle and foot will be maximum. The accessibility will be more for the foot as compared to the bicycle as the people or the human being wants to move and he is having his own foot. So the accessibility will be. More as come for the foot as compared to the bicycle, but if we talk in terms of the speed, then the speed will be more for the bicycle and the speed will be less for the foot. It means foot has more accessibility, less speed, and the bicycle has less accessibility and more speed as compared in between the foot and the bicycle. So if I'm keeping the foot at this place, then I have to keep. Bicycle at this place. That means having the more accessibility and less speed as compared to this. The accessibility is less and the speed is more. Then we will start with the ferry. We can keep somewhere here because the uh, accessibility for the ferry is very less. The speed we have taken little bit more than the bicycle. As uh, we can utilize where the water body is available or where the water is, uh, can be used as a medium of transport, then only ferry can be used. So, sensitivity for this will be very less. So, we have marked it here. Then, the next mode of transport will be the commuter rail. We are taking the commuter rail at this place. As the speed is very high, we know, but the accessibility is less. Because the people have to travel uh, to the railway station and daily they need not prefer the commuter rail, so the accessibility is less. Then, as compared to the commuter rail, the second we are taking is the light rail. The speed for the light rail will be less as compared to the commuter rail because it has to stop at the so many places. The light rails are nothing but the local train only, so it has to stop at the so many places. Therefore, the speed of the light rail will be less as compared to the local bus, but the accessibility will be more for this as well. It will be stopped at so many small small stations in between the city. Therefore, the accessibility will be more for the people. Hence, it is ranked on the higher side as compared to the light rail. But the accessibility of light rail is almost equivalent to the express bus. The accessibility will be almost the same and the speed will be almost equal to the light rail. Then we take the next one as the local bus. Accessibility will be more as compared to the light rail, but the speed will be less because it has to face too much traffic as compared to the express bus, and hence the speed is less as compared to the light rail, but the accessibility is more. Then the next is shared taxi. Obviously, the accessibility will be more as compared to local bus and other, and the speed will be slightly higher, but it can be even up to the lighter depending on the traffic. So, shared taxi will include both the motorized four wheeler as well as motorized three wheeler. Then we will take the next one that is the private car PRBT. We have not written here, so we will write the PRBT. This is for the private. The speed of the private car or private taxi will be almost same as the shared taxi, but its accessibility will be more as you can get it from anywhere. It will also include your MFW as well as MTSW. Then the last one is the personal car. The accessibility of the personal car will be too much 
and the speed will be also higher than the other mode of transport but here also we will take two one is uh, the congested and the uncongested area so in the uncongested area the speed will be higher and this is we will take the congested area in the congested area the speed will be lesser and the non-congested uh, in the congested area the speed will be le uh, lesser while in the uncongested area the speed will be the higher so these are the how we can train the different mode of the transport on this on the behalf of the accessibility as per the user's point of view if we take the second factor so this is one of the factor and now we will see another factor As you can see, in between the ferry ferry to local bus, there is the cost of travel will increase. Similarly, within the express bus and local bus, uh, why we are uh, we, we are keeping it on a higher side as compared to the local train, right? Because here uh, the cost of travel will increase, but the cost of travel per kilometer per capita will be less for the local bus as compared to the express bus, and hence we are keeping on the lighter side that is on the minimum side as compared to the express bus. Then here we will take the shared taxi. Similarly, we can say that local bus requires most cost of travel as compared to the shared taxi. But here, this cost will be shared by the 52 people traveling in that bus. But here, this cost of travel will be shared by two people or three people only, and hence it will require more cost of travel, more rest, three wheeler. Then the next one will be your private car. Similarly, motorized four wheeler and motorized three wheeler. Then the highest will be the personal car. This is the congested area. This is uncongested area. If we take the motorized two wheeler, then it will be here. Because here the cost of travel will be shared by the two people only, but here the cost of travel will be shared by one people to whoever is traveling. So this is the ranking of uh, modes based on the 
cost of travel per kilometer under the user's point of view. Now we will see the last one, third one of the factor under the user's point of view that is based on the level of comfort. Level of comfort minimum and maximum. So, first will be obviously the foot, then bicycle, then ferry, then simply local bus. We take the motorized two wheeler somewhere here. Because in case of level of comfort, the motorized two wheeler, that is the two wheeler is generally bikes are considered as less safe for vehicle as compared to other, as well as it will, the level of comfort will be very well less because the fact uh, the travelers or the, the person who is riding the bike will tire a lot or he will uh, get more fatigue as compared to other. So, level of comfort is very less in case of two wheeler. So, we are ready here at very less place, so at the medium side. And within this, the speed for this will be the higher, as we can see within this, the level of comfort will be more in the bicycle than the uh, just by walking, then ferry, then local bus, then next will be express bus and the light rail. Then the next is Commuter rail and the express bus. Next, you will be having more comfort will be shared taxi. Then motorized four wheeler, motorized. Three wheeler, then this is a private car, motorized four wheeler, motorized three wheeler, then if we see this is the personal car. Congested area, it is uncongested area. This could be the probable ranking of different typical modes of the transport as per the level of comfort and the user's point of view. So the other three types we have uh, discussed uh, for the variety uh, of modes and the user point of view that is when it's based on the accessibility, then the cost of travel and at last we have seen the level of comfort. Now we will move towards the planner's point of view. We have seen the different uh, the factors affecting the braking as well as the planner's point of view. One is the level of impact on the environment, and the second one is the so the first of all we will take the first one as the level of impact on the environment that is we will take it as air pollution. We have discussed already that the air pollution we consider. In this point, so so first of all, the first point will be as usual the foot. The speed is less, no air pollution. Then the bicycle. Then after the bicycle, the next is used to be the commuter rail. And the express bus. Then 
then the next will be the ferry where the key ferry we are considering as quality more than compared to the express bus because of it will require the more tractor force to run on the water surface while uh, here whatever there will be air pollution that will be divided by the number of passengers so the air pollution per kilometer per capita will be the lesser than the ferry in this case the next will be local bus as compared to the local bus we have already taken the express bus here then the next will be shared taxi and this will include both that is motorized four wheeler as well as motorized three wheeler and the next we should produce the more pollution that can be the private car because in case of shared taxi if we want to share by four people here yeah, the air pollution will be shared by four people but in case of private car or private taxi if there is only one person is going or only two person are going then the pollution will be shared by the two people only and hence we will consider that the private car is producing more air pollution as compared to the shared taxi so here we will consider the both motorized four wheeler as well as motorized three wheeler then there will be last one that is personal car it is in case of congested area and it will be uncongested then only one one left out that is the motorized two wheeler we are keeping it high because it will be the higher as compared to these modes but the pollution will also be shared by the two people only or by the one people only and hence it is kept on the higher side this is uh, the ratio of modes as per the ranking uh, uh, based on the air pollution per kilometer under the planet's point of view the last the parameter which we need to consider under this category is the energy consumption so we will start first of all we will take non motorized section and this the energy consumption will be less in case of bicycle than the foot because it is easier to travel uh, with the energy consumption per kilometer you can see that we are talking for that we need to move for a distance of 10 km then if we are taking the bicycle as a mode of transport then the energy consumption will be less in this case as compared to the foot so and hence we have kept that uh, towards the energy consumption rate minimum for the bicycle as compared to the foot then the next will be commuter rail and then we will take the ferry Here we can take the light rail also. And the express bus. Then we have the local bus. We can see that the side, the ferry has been kept here. Rails are on less energy side, and the buses are higher energy consumption side. We can say that it will be using the rails commuter rail. There are trains which will be using as the medium the rails, and there will be less traction, less friction between the wheel and the the rails, and there will be, will, and therefore there will be less tractive force will be required to run the vehicle. Therefore, in this case, uh, the commuter rail or light rail, we are saying that it will require the less track, uh, it will require less tractive resistance, and hence there will be less energy consumption. In case of ferry, it will require more tractive force, and therefore it will be uh, consume more energy. While in case of express bus, uh, within the express bus and local bus, it has to stop at so many places at its stop, uh, which as the as the as the bus stop, 
and again it has to start the journey and therefore the local bus will require more energy consumption or it will use more energy than the express bus. Then simply there will be last that is the shared taxi then the private taxi simply we are saying the shared taxi will require many, uh, less energy consumption because here the energy consumption will be shared by the four people or three people while, it will be, while the number of sharing will be less in case of private taxi so we are ranking it on the higher side it will include both the motorized four wheeler as well as the motorized three wheeler then your personal car this will be congested area this will be uncongested area while somewhere here we can keep the motorized two wheeler so this is the ranking of mods based on the energy consumption medium size is the medium size speech we are kept as a constant parameter in all these conditions. So this is all about the today's lecture that is on the transportation system under the urban transportation plan. Thank you.